Welcome to New Mobile's Tutorial Tuesday, Episode 8, and this week's is a good one. We're going to explore Android's quick settings. Just a quick note, this tutorial was done on stock Android 10. There may be slight differences on other versions of Android. Now, the quick settings are the icons that you see at the very top of the screen when you drag your notification slide down from the top of the screen, like this. See those six icons at the top? The quick settings are like the name implies, a way to quickly access the control and settings of various functions, like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode or nightlight, and various others. There are actually two views for quick settings. The abbreviated view, which you see when you drag down just once from the top to see your notifications, like you see here, and the full view when you drag down a second time, like this. In the abbreviated view, the interface is primarily for accessing your notifications, so they limit the number of quick settings here to just six. But in the full expanded view, it shows nine quick settings, as well as the labels for them, and swiping left will show even more on additional pages if there are more than nine icons enabled. Tapping any of these quick settings once will generally serve to toggle them on or off, like so, which is more convenient than going into a settings panel to toggle it. Furthermore, if you long press on any of these, you'll be taken to a setup screen for that feature, which can also be more convenient than searching for it within the extensive settings menu. And now I'm in the Bluetooth settings panel. Now, another point of interest, you can also edit which of these quick settings to show and in which order. To do this, simply open the quick settings to the full view and look for the little pencil icon in the lower left corner and tap it. You'll find yourself in an edit mode, and here you can hold and drag quick settings icons around to adjust their order and availability. This interface is actually split up into three sections. The first contains icons that will be shown, The second, here, under hold and drag to add tiles, shows icons that can be shown but are currently disabled. And the third, at the bottom, under this line, shows quick settings available from third parties, such as apps that you've downloaded. You can actually see there's a quick settings app available from the screen recorder app that I'm using. Simply decide which quick settings you want and don't want and drag them into the different sections accordingly. If you ever get things too mixed up, you can always reset the entire quick settings layout by tapping on the three dot menu icon in the upper right and selecting reset. And it will go back to the way it was originally. And that's it. You're now a pro at using and configuring your Android phone's quick settings. As always, feel free to leave any comments, questions I didn't answer here, any suggestions or requests for new tutorials. It's all welcome. See you next Tuesday.